going on YouTube? Vincent Flores here at Pro Trapper Venzo or at NTK Crypto coming to you um, from the Dallas Fort Worth area. I uh, was just thinking about that intangible coin, that asset that I didn't get involved in because uh, it was not tangible 10 years ago that obviously I wish I did. But I caught up to it and got involved in it. But I was thinking about the market. I haven't actually looked at the market today at all. And I thought it would be kind of fun to, to talk about the market over the last two days. What's been going on? So what's been on my heart regarding cryptocurrency is volatility breeds opportunity. Uh, I think a lot of y'all probably, as soon as I said that, it was probably like, yeah, absolutely, I could see that. And maybe a few of you, or maybe a lot of you are like, what the crap are you talking about? Well, the volatility of the cryptocurrency market breeds an amazing opportunity to pay attention, to buckle down, buy multiple inexpensive currencies, multiple inexper uh, inexpensive assets, and hold on to them. Sometimes those assets go up for the day, sometimes a week, a month, sometimes a couple months, maybe even longer. Um, it took Ripple a long time to pop, but it wasn't a bad investment. It just took time. So that's what I'm talking about when the volatility breeds opportunity. And this opportunity is the most fascinating opportunity to create wealth in human history, I believe. Um, you know, we're still like less than probably 1% of the population are know about it, involved in it, talk about it. Um, people are learning about it. And, and they're, they're fascinated by it, even though they're not ready to commit to anything a lot of times. I'll be it. I mean, some of some people I talk to. I mean, you know, I mean that's just recently because I could show them my look. I spent two thousand dollars. I'm making twenty dollars a day. Yesterday, the day before, the market wasn't very good. But when I got my payout yesterday, Dwarf Pool did miss a day. Um, they were down with some technical maintenance. But so when I did get payment, it was for two days. And the value of the Ethereum I got yesterday was like, like $46. Uh, so 48 hours, $23 a day. That's five cards, ladies and gentlemen. Five cards. I have some space for at least one card, possibly two, if that portal stays stable. Um, so I show people that, and they're like, you built that. And that's, that's your money? Well, how do you have access to that money? Like, well, it depends. If I want to send it to an exchange and reinvest, or I want to send it to uh, Coinbase and put it in my, my, my US wallet, or do I want to search for other companies online that accept it and then use it that way? You know, do I want to pull it out, or do I want to use it? I'd probably prefer to use it. And do I want to reinvest it? Absolutely. Yeah, is it going to be reinvested into more computer parts? Probably. Get some more started. Um, so, you know, I'll do a, a huge example of volatility creates opportunity. Years ago, they had all these auto buyouts where the market was down, the auto buyouts were going crazy, and it created an instability and crazy volatility in the U.S. market, the stock market. Out of the companies that took a bailout from the government, Ford Motors, or Ford Motor Company, did not. That being said, they took a dramatic hit and got down to, you know, I want to say $4 a share. You know, everybody knows Ford is one of the largest companies out there. I mean, it's not a secret. Ford's Ford. Ford's been around forever. You know, you think of me. 
nature of car manufacturing, you think of Chevrolet and Ford probably first. Then you have your, your Dodge, which is now Fiat. Um, let's see, I think it's Fiat. It used to be Dodge, Daimler, Chrysler. But, uh, matter of fact, my truck's a Ram. It's not, it's not even a Dodge tag anymore, it's a Ram. Um, but, so obviously Ford's a major motor company, bottom line. Four dollars a share. Obviously that's a great buy. Four dollars a share, Ford. I don't even know what it's at today. But I guarantee you it's not four dollars a share. Um, what else was back then? Textron. Textron's a multifaceted company. Has a whole bunch of different things going on it. Traditionally it was probably a 30 to 40 dollars, maybe more per share company. And it was down to maybe the eight to ten dollar range, but I know for sure less than fifteen dollars. As well as Texas Instruments, that was the third one. So volatility bred opportunity for classic companies that you would have never, or I at the time would have never even considered purchasing, because I didn't want to buy one share for one hundred and twenty-eight dollars of TI stock. You know, maybe fifteen years ago. Uh, so that's the market. You know, hope maybe it's bounced back today. I, I really don't know. But any kind of instability and volatility just creates a huge opportunity for short-term gains. Um, huge opportunity for long-term gains. So don't get discouraged. Um, don't panic. Just relax and breathe, man. Breathe in your nose, out your mouth. You didn't lose your wealth. You still have the same amount of currency. You still have the same amount of crypto coins. Just because supposedly they're worth a different amount in the U.S. dollar value than than they were, and don't don't panic. Stocks is all about, or even cryptocurrency, it's all about collecting quantity of coins, diversifying and collecting. You collect and you just collect and you can collect. If it's if it's a hundred dollars a month, you're gonna buy X amount of coins for hundred dollars a month. Pick a currency you believe in. Spend a hundred dollars. Try to get the same one. Try to get different ones. I don't think it really matters. It's as long as you're patient and don't panic. Um, so when you have multi shares and that ticker changes just a little bit, you obviously profit more. So that's what it's about. Just collecting as much shares as possible. Set yourself up a goal. I have a goal to eventually accumulate a million doge. You know, I'm 20% there almost. I have a, a short term, well, it's pretty like it's a, a goal to collect 10,000 pivics. I have a goal to collect another million bit beans. So I need about 800 something thousand left. 825,000 basically to get 2 million bit beans. Um, so that's my, I don't know, soapbox rant today. Not really giving you any market information. I'm just telling you about your opportunities. Um, don't get down if you're a holder and you've seen your value go down. Don't panic. Uh, just relax and wait. And then go ahead and buy. You know, a lot of people, you know, especially Thomas, you know, he's buying the dips. He's absolutely correct. If you have the opportunity to buy in the dips, buy in the dips. That being said, you know, if, if you buy on the first every month and that's what you do, and it's high, pick another coin or buy more of that coin. Just get more quantity. You know, collect as many as you can. I bought Pivix when it was nine cents. Guess what? I bought Pivix again when it was 50. I didn't stop. I bought Pivix again probably when it was 80. You know, I, I just, I, I know that that particular coin is going to have a bright future. So, man, don't get discouraged. It's an amazing opportunity. Volatility breeds opportunity. If you seize the opportunity, you'll probably be successful in the cryptocurrency world. Don't panic. Pick out your favorite five to ten coins and buy buy coins that everybody knows are are, are worthy too. You know, don't just buy the six Satoshi coin or the thousand or less Satoshi coin. Buy those too. I don't want to discourage you from those. 
But don't forget about your Litecoin, your Ethereum, your Ethereum Classic. Hold some Bitcoin. Um, I don't care if it's a, a tenth of a Bitcoin or, or a fifth of a Bitcoin. If I, you know, it doesn't, it just doesn't matter. Just buy, collect, and build your portfolio. Because in two to five years from now, you're going to be just fascinated, fascinated with the value. Um, and it might not even be that long. It might be two months and you're like, wow, this is great. I'm going to sell that, use some of it for spending, and then I'm going to reinvest the 50% of what I made. Um, so anyways, again, volatility breeds opportunity. Don't forget it.